Okay, Bolo Buddies, in this video, I am going to unbox a box full of jewelry that I picked up from Donatella Bodolino. I paid $40 for this box of jewelry. I'm going to show it to you. Um, after I was finished, I contacted Moonstone Mamas, and she is going to tell us about some of the amazing pieces that I found in this box. I'm super excited to share this with you guys, and I hope you enjoy the show. I did bring some clips of Moonstone Mamas in to bring some educational value to the video and help you guys learn, help me learn. She's fantastic. Definitely go sub to her, and let's get this jewelry unboxed. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, I forgot to mention, it is a mystery box. So what happened was I bought a dibble box from her auction that I paid $110 for and I said hey just round it up to $150 and send me a mystery box of jewelry for $40. So check out Donatella Bottolino's auctions. They are fantastic great way to source for resellers and let's get started. Okay Bolo Buddies let's open up this box. So this is a jewelry box that I got from Donatella Bottolino. I purchased a dibble box from her for $110 and I asked her to throw in $40 worth of jewelry to make my total invoice $150 even. And I did have free shipping on that. And I just did another video showing you what I got in the dibble box. I believe I'm gonna do this as a separate video. Otherwise it's just gonna be like way too long. So, um. Here is my box of jewelry. I'm thinking maybe I'll just dump it so I don't have the big box in the way. So this is a $40 mystery box of jewelry. All right, so right off the bat, I see some bangle bracelets. I think I'm gonna get my bake white, not my bake light. Yes, my Bakelite tester, it's called Semichrome, and maybe test some of these. This one says Atlantis on the inside. Um, I'm guessing they're probably not, but I feel like if I don't test them, um, I might regret it. This is just a wood bangle. Okay, so I'm trying to stand behind my uh, thing here. Right off the bat, we have this faux pearl choker, which would be really cute for like prom or something. So I'll definitely list that. Some really nice, clean condition, ready to go. That'll be easy. Um, this is just, uh, I think these beads are plastic. Well, maybe they're glass. I'm not really sure. I'm so bad at that. So I'm gonna send some pictures over to um, Moonstone Mamas. If you guys have not checked out her channel, definitely check it out. She's like my go-to person when I'm uh, doing jewelry. I send her pictures and she helps me out. This piece. Odd and unusual items sell. Something like this, which is a huge massive inlay piece, is reminiscent of a jewelry maker by the name of Lee Sands. Oftentimes, Lee Sands doesn't sign his items and when he does, it's far and few between. So if I were to list this item, I would list this as Lee Sands type, similar to Lee Sands, um, something along those lines. Look at that. So I'm gonna send some pictures over her way, see what she says about some of this. I don't see any markings on this. Um, it feels very cold. I think this is probably mother of pearl, I'm guessing. I don't know, but that is a stunning piece. So I might be able to get my money back just with that piece right there. Um, I don't know what this, is this like a necklace? Um, those feel cold, so they could be glass. Hat bracelets are perfect for every person, shape or size. This bracelet happens to be all natural stones. It has some snow agate, some jasper, and some adventure ring. 
I don't know. Maybe I'll just send this video to Moonstone Mamas and then I can add to it. Um, I forget what this is called. Is it Colossian or something like that? Um, it is tied in between and it is, I believe, a vintage clasp. It opens like that. Um, I don't feel anything raised so I'm guessing maybe it's faux. I don't know. Another thing I will um, send over to Moonstone Mamas. When looking at a quality of an item, things to take note is if there's knots in between. For this particular necklace, there is hand-painted floral design beads, knots in between, and a beautiful gold tone clasp, which also indicates vintage. I would list this anywhere between $35 and $42. You guys definitely check her channel out if you have not already. Um, this is like, I think these are called seed beads. And it's kind of, um, kind of like a choker, I would say. And it's got some nice colors on it. Ready to list. I don't see any damage. I think it's a super cute piece. I'll definitely list that one. This style of necklace is often referred to as a bib style. It is a shorter collared type necklace and definitely would consider this one bohemian because of the colors and the pattern on the necklace separately um we got some neon colors here this is just like pure costume jewelry um but it's kind of a fun little piece uh it's got the little tassel so um i don't know i might list it i'll probably list it just because it's fun uh, this looks like some sort of shell. That is a shell. This all feels very cheap up here, but it does appear to have a vintage clasp. So I'm not sure on that one. I, I These beads just seem really, uh, really cheap. And they're smooth, so they're not pearls. Here's a couple more bangles. Um, so I'll get my testing kit after I'm done here and we'll come back to that. Uh, well, this is all tangled up. Okay, so this, I, I don't know what that is. It does feel a little cold. I don't know if those are wood, but I, I don't know if I'll, I may bundle some of this. Not really sure. This little piece, um, I don't know. Can you guys see that? It's kind of like dirty in the inside. <laughs> but it does have what appears to be a vintage clasp. These almost look silver in color, these beads up here. So I don't know, let me see if I can turn. Hold on, I'm gonna plug in my light. Okay, I'm back, does that help? So I, those beads kind of look silver, don't they? I don't know, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is made of. Interesting, right? And there's two more beads. I wonder if there's, sorry, I thought I was in front of the camera. See them? It's kind of gunky in there. I wonder if I can get my loop and look at those closer. So those could be silver. I in necklaces, when beads go from smaller to larger, it's called graduating beads. And if you're not certain if the stone is turquoise, put turquoise colored stone. I don't know. I guess I could try a magnet. Let's try a magnet. I have a magnet right here. All right, let's see. The magnet is not sticking at all. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean it's silver, but it could be. Um, I don't know what this is. It's just like a, another tassel style necklace. So maybe, I don't know, it's not marked or anything. It's kind of fun. This feels cold. It's all tangled. It's all tangled up. Mm. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, it does. It feels kind of cold. Like this feels cold. Let me see if I can get it up close for you guys. I don't know. Here's the clasp, it's, it's not vintage. 
Okay, this is kind of neat. They're like, um, I don't know, are those mother of pearl? They're like leaves, but they're like buttons and they're weaved into this uh, rope or whatever it is. Uh, the clasp is broken. So um, I don't know, that's definitely interesting. I think I can still sell it broken. Bohemian jewelry is always a bolo. This particular necklace has carved, cut out, mother of pearl, leaf shaped pieces. It also looks like there's some kind of macrame design behind on the actual jute itself, where it'll lay on the neck. Definitely something to take note in when you're titling this item. Uh, this is just a costume piece. I don't see any markings on it. This is cold. Um, it's what it sounds like. It's on this twine or rope. Uh, let me see if I can get you a close up. I have no idea what this is. It's kind of shiny. Um, it's, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's just like on a rope. This blue stone necklace is definitely fun. Anything that's tied in a different organic way, strung on jute or any other kind of natural material, could be described and categorized as bohemian jewelry. And that is a sought after item. I would list this necklace between 18 to $24, depending on the length. This has a vintage clasp, I think. I, it's a barrel clasp. I don't know if all barrel clasps are vintage or not. Probably not. I probably don't know what I'm talking about. And then it's got the green beads. And then I think those are seed beads. I don't know. This little piece, um, it feels very lightweight. It seems kind of, I don't know is encased it's not sticking so I don't know it's lightweight here's the beads again a barrel clasp I don't know I just it feels hollow so it doesn't feel expensive to me but maybe I'm missing something on there this hand painted pendant is extraordinary it's stunning. Chances are it's vintage. It's made from ceramic. And you can tell by the unevenness that it is for sure hand painted. I would list this for probably $42 on my eBay. Yeah, I think I will send this video to Moonstone Mamas and then I will add to the end kind of what I find out from her. Um, I don't know if this is glass. It's not vintage. It's got this little like leaf or something. This feels um, like plastic, but it's got like weird, I don't know. Can you guys see that? To me, that feels like nothing, but I could be wrong. This is probably just gonna go in the trash. <laughs> I don't know. It's got like some discoloration. Um, I don't know what this is. Um, it's got a hole in the top and then it, huh, I don't know. Do you guys know what that is? Um, it's interesting. I don't know. I'll have to look into that one. Um, this is another tassel style thing. It'll need trimmed up, but no big deal. I don't know what this hand means. I can probably look that up. But it's kind of a fun necklace. I'll probably list it. I, I just think it's faux, whatever it is. Here's like a little tassel style necklace. It's not marked. Uh, just might be leather with some little beads on the end. This is interesting. This has a vintage clasp. Anyway, I'll just hold it up for you guys. Can you see it? Um, let me see what this is marked. I lost my loop. I lost my loop. Where'd I put it? 
Oh my gosh. Did I bury it? All right, I'm gonna pause this and try to find my loop. Found it, it was underneath all that jewelry. Okay, let's see what this says. It says silver, but it says silver. Can you guys see that? It's spelled out silver. So I don't think that even looks like silver. I mean, it's not sticking to the magnet. I don't know what these are, if it's some sort of nut. Can you see that? It's interesting for sure. Very interesting. Storyteller jewelry could be kind of difficult depending on what culture it comes from to identify. Um, you have some easy ones like Russian nesting dolls. They could be storyteller kind of jewelry or decor. Um, in Native American culture, a lot of times it's representative, depending on the tribe, um, of a older woman with a lot of children on their lap. Uh, representing the the person who keeps the stories of the tribe or the culture. This necklace right here um, sort of seems a little bit of Asian, um, judging by the way the straight and harsh lines on some of the um, the houses that are carved behind the person. What was this was a big flag to me that this could be a storyteller necklace is because there's a lot of older representative people on this uh, necklace. Um, there even, if you look more closely, can show what this culture does. There's some fish representative in, in this necklace. All in all, if you find any kind of ornamental or carved pieces, it's definitely a bolo, definitely big money, price high, because these are wonderful, exquisite pieces. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Here's a, a silver bead. It's just a bead. Um, let's see, let's get this piece. So this is just costume. It feels like plastic. It's not cold. Um, but it's kind of got the iridescent little uh, beads. It's kind of different, you know, and gives that illusion that it's just hanging because this is clear. I might list it, I don't know. This is, uh, it looks like a giant tooth. <laughs> it's, um, I think it's just plastic. I don't know. Okay. This, okay. I don't know. Okay, okay. well, it's two necklaces. And here are the, cla the barrel clasps. And they're slightly different in color. I think that I may try to sell this as a set just because they're the same but different. Pretty, I don't know what it is, but pretty. Um, what's this little? Um, okay, there's a clasp on one end. It says something. Let me get my loop. <sighs> It says, dun, dun, dun. I get my loop to focus, 14K. So, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get you guys to see this. Now, this is a teeny tiny clasp, so gold weight, we're not talking much, but it is marked 14K. Uh, can you guys, I'm trying, trying to make it focus. Either way, you trust me. Now, it does have these little beads in between it. So I wonder if those are 14K also. Again, not much gold weight, but still pretty cool if I found gold, right? <gasps> I found gold! So I'm gonna ask Moonstone Mamas about that. And I'm wondering if these are pearls, like freshwater pearls, because they have 
a 14 karat um, gold clasp. So to me, I, I don't know, are pearls shaped like this? <laughs> Maybe the real ones are. So this is a bracelet and I guess I'll just sell it broken. If it's freshwater pearls and 14 karat gold, I'm pretty happy with that. So I don't know what it's worth. That'll be another question to ask Moonstone Mamas. That necklace is freshwater pearls. And since the clasp is marked 14 karat gold, I would bet that also the little gold tone spacer beads are also gold. Definitely something to check out. You can either list this on Etsy and eBay um, and marked needs new clasp, or you can sell it as is, probably for about $24 to $32, depending off the spacer beads are gold. Um, this bangle is tangled up in this necklace that, I don't know. So this is, I believe, glass, and it's just on a little necklace. This just feels very cheap, just a, and just because it's cheap doesn't mean somebody won't want it, but here's another piece of glass. I may just sell, looks like another one here, these three glass pieces. Maybe I'll lot them. I don't know. I'm so, I get confused about how to list some of this stuff. This is just a three strand necklace, beaded necklace. It is cold. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, trying to see if there's any markings. I don't, I don't see anything, but again, guys, I'm not looking super, super good. Um, this looks, it's got a barrel clasp on it. I don't know if those are just like seed beads. They're kind of like a cream color. This is just a costume necklace. Probably will not mess with that. Uh, this is a little choker. It's got a C. I think the C is Charming Charlie maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But it's a choker style necklace and it hangs down like that. So that's kind of cute. I might be able to get a little bit of money out of that. Um, this is just a tangled mess. It doesn't feel, um, cold or anything. So I don't know. You guys can get a closer look there. So let me go get my bake light tester. Uh, this is a clasp. So this is a vintage clasp. I wonder if this came off of that, um, leaf necklace. Cause I'm betting it did. I bet it did. So I'll hang on to that. It's definitely a cool clasp, right? Okay, let's test those bangles. So if you are interested in checking out Donatella Bottolino's um, selling events, you can find her on YouTube and I have a link in the description of the video. She has um, these jewelry boxes that you can buy by emailing her and telling her how much you wanna spend. Sometimes she auctions them off on her channel. Um, sometimes she'll have a buy it now video where she'll spread out a whole display and tell you how much it is. And then the first person who, um, says they want it, gets it. Sometimes she'll offer up bags of jewelry at a certain price and she'll have a limited number. So there's lots of ways you can get these jewelry boxes from Donatella. She also does this with plush and sunglasses and makeup, her auctions and selling events are fantastic. And you can also find these items on T's channel, which is auctions, the number four, U, capital U, auctions for you. And I'll try to pop it up here. And Donatella and T work together and um, are on each other's channels. So they have fantastic reseller lots. So definitely go and check them out. Again, the links will be down in the description of the video. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.